With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is for any two vectors, a vector and b vector, if a vector dot b vector equals to magnitude of a cross b vector, then the magnitude of c vector, which is nothing but a vector plus b vector, this will be equal to and these are the given options. So we know that we are given with a vector dot b vector, this is equals to magnitude of a vector cross b vector. Now we know that a vector dot b vector is nothing but nothing but magnitude of a vector magnitude of b vector into cos theta okay and this is equals to magnitude of a cross b and magnitude of a cross b is nothing but magnitude of a magnitude of b into sin theta okay so from here i will be getting tan theta equals to 1 after cancelling a b from both the sides and this thing implies that theta will be equals to 45 degree okay so now I have to find out the magnitude of C vector which is nothing but A vector plus B vector. So let us assume that C vector which is A vector plus B vector so its magnitude will be given by root over A square plus B square plus 2AB cos theta. Now here theta is 45 degree so this will be cos 45 degree okay and the value of cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2 so, so this will become a square plus b square plus 2ab into 1 by root 2. Now this root 2 will cancel out with 2 and will left root 2. So overall we will be getting magnitude of c vector we will be getting magnitude of c vector as root over a square plus b square plus root 2ab. So this is the required magnitude of the resultant vector. So the correct option is option 4 and rest all options are Incorrect. I hope you understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.